Running our cars on ethanol can actually help us reduce our dependency on oil and also mitigate climate change. However, the problem that we have right now is that almost all of the ethanol that is blended with gasoline is coming from edible plant sources. So it has gotten to the point that consumers in Germany have rejected increasing the ethanol blend in gasoline from 5 to 10 percent. And we may see this happening in other countries. Instead of focusing on using edible plant material, there's a new generation of ethanol that is focusing on using non-edible plant material. And what I'm interested in doing is looking at wheat straw as a source for ethanol production. Now, the problem is that extracting the sugars out of the wheat straw and ferment that into ethanol is challenging because the sugars are locked in these rigid chains that are also glued to each other with other polymers. And so in order to break these sugars down, we have to apply severe conditions to expose the sugar chains and then break it down using enzymes and water. As you can imagine, this process is very expensive, so it's impossible to make ethanol out of straw cheaper than gasoline or even ethanol from corn grains. And the focus of my project is to look at different strategies to reduce the cost of ethanol during the production process. And the first thing that I need to do is to maximize the amount of sugars that I get per weight of uh, straw so that I get the biggest bang for the bale. So how I'm going to do this, I'm going to change the operational conditions so that I can increase the recovery of the sugars and at the same time uh, mix the straw with the enzymes and the water so that I can break it down into the simpler sugars that the yeast need for fermentation. Um, the problem though is that the conditions are severe and it's inevitable to lose some sugars, so I need to minimize the, the loss of the sugars. And a lot of this work has been done previously on optimizing the recovery, but nobody has looked at how you increase the recovery and at the same time obtain a very concentrated sugar stream. And this is very important because if we have a sugar stream that's concentrated and then we feed that to the yeast, the ethanol that comes out is also very concentrated. And then we'll spend less time, energy and money, money into distilling the ethanol to blend it with your gasoline. So I'm going to look at increasing the recovery of the sugars and at the same time increasing the concentration at which these sugars are recovered. And hopefully this way will decrease the, uh, the cost of ethanol in the production process. This will reflect in the end when you go to fill up your car tank. Thank you.